Good afternoon, nerd friends. Welcome back to the Charlie Show. New every Tuesday, right here on the Hobby Wing official YouTube channel. What do I have on the bench today? Brand new motors from the Skywalker series. These are outrunner motors for airplanes, in case you did not know. That means that the can itself does the spinning and the shaft comes out that end, or they come with prop adapters to do regular props. There's going to be three different versions of these motors. This is a 2312, this is a 2316, and there's gonna be one more that I do not have here today, a 2320. And commonly, you would think that those numbers are the actual motor size. In these situations with airplane stuff, they're not. It's the internal stator size. So when you throw a pair of calipers on here, they are going to be a little different size than what those numbers are. You're looking at 28 and some change on the outside diameter. And then the length, if you go from the surface to the surface there, you're going to get 28. This guy, they're all the same diameter. They're 28 and some change and they're different lengths. So you see there you get 31 and some change on your length from there to there. Uh, these motors are four aircraft, like I said before, three to four S applications. And I'm gonna put a link in the description down below that has the spec chart and all of that fun information that everybody's anxious to find out about. There's actually diagrams that show you the layout of everything. Uh, what do these motors all have in common? The three different sizes, like I said, 2312, 2316, and then there'll be another one that's a 2320. Uh, they all have the same mounting styles and motor shafts and diameters. The difference is in the length and the KV ratings. They're all rated for 3 to 4S applications. And uh, they have, what did I say, 4 millimeter output shafts on all of them. And the mounting positions are the same. You get a set of 16 millimeter holes and a set of 19 millimeter holes. That's the spacing, you know, from center to center. And these are 3 millimeter threads on all of these guys. And like I said before, the 4 millimeter output shaft on that guy. Uh, the different motors do have different weights obviously the little guy is going to be 65 grams the medium guy is going to be 79 grams and like I said the biggest one that I have that is not here the 2320 is going to be at 92 grams when it's all said and done they're going to come in a couple different KVs right now we only have a handful of them listed but there may be more to come in the future we're not exactly sure what the situation with the different KVs are going to be because sometimes people ask for different KVs so we like to cater to that but right now the listings are a 1250 a 1400 and a 1250 KV again so it'll be a 1250 1250 for this guy, 1400 for the medium size, and then a 1250 for the uh, 2320 as well. These are going to be the 2300 series motors, and it is a little, I guess, I mean, I'll agree with you. It is a little strange that the can diameters are not the actual motor sizes like they are in our other motors, but it's just the kind of difference in the specs, if you will. But they do tell you the different sizes and you do know that they are all the same diameter. As I mentioned, these do come with standard prop adapters as well. So you can mount these guys to the plane here and then the outrunner side of the motor spins and there's a prop adapter that goes on like that. Or if you wanna put these into something that has an output shaft with a pinion gear on it or a gear drive, you can do that with a, the, the clamp on style prop adapters as wow. well. I can hear everyone typing from their rock crawling keyboard, are these gonna be usable in a rock crawler application? Right now, I do not know. I'm certainly gonna find out and try. The big thing I, you know, they don't have standard motor mounting patterns on them, uh, but that's not to say some adapters can't be done or some of that stuff can't be changed. They are quite a bit smaller diameter than a regular motor. This is a 36 millimeter, whereas these guys are, you know, closer to 23, or like a 28 millimeter. But since the rotor is on the, or the, the magnets are on the outside and the stator's in the middle and it's a much higher pull count, uh, you will get a lot more torque out of the smaller motor. And that's why some of those guys that you'll see out there with those outrunners have become Become kind of popular for the rock crawling applications. All right, these are, like I said, pre-production samples that I have. Don't mind the markings on them. We will have more information, like I said, in the link down below. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns about these, or you have some recommendations for us, send us an email, northamerica at hobbywing.com. And this is just a real quick introductory look at these new Skywalker 2300 series motors. Now, I realize I am not a pilot, nor do I know my up from my down, my ailerons from my flaps or whatever the case may be. I used to fly a lot and this is giving me a really good excuse to kind of get back into it. Three to four S planes are pretty popular. You're looking at, uh, I don't know, I, I wish I knew what size planes these were for, but if you fly a plane that's got three to four S, you probably have a better idea than I do. Now these do have prop sizes listed on the website for what we recommend. And it's eight to nine inch props, depending on the voltage that you're gonna use, eight by sixes, nine by four, stuff like that. 
But check the link in the description down below. There's more information on the website on when the pre-orders are going to start and all that fun stuff as well. Don't forget we have a podcast. It is called RC Stuff, powered by Hobbywing. Each and every episode, we give away a free Hobbywing system to a lucky listener. All you have to do to find out how to enter to win is listen to an episode. You can find it on your favorite podcast service. Just look up RC Stuff, powered by Hobbywing. And as always, folks, thanks for watching another episode of The Charlie Show right here on the Hobbywing official YouTube channel. We will see you all next time.